guys this recommend shout out to everybody out there man subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like leave a comment and uh let's get into this man so today we're gonna talk about barcelona versus um deportivo alaves man in the la liga game ended in a 2-1 win for barcelona barcelona lucky win man lucky win man barcelona got lucky in this one um i think if deportivo Al um, alaves had a, a better striker up top um they it would have been a different game man because a few times uh samu uh samu forget his name samu yeah samu man um one or two times he had a one-on-one -on -one chance with a goalkeeper and he pretty much put it wide he, he, one of his shot hit the post so yo they could have been up like three one or three or, or two two zero or something like that early in the game so yeah man uh deportivo started very good mistake by barcelona um gave uh alaves the ball and uh samu were able to score assisted by um i think it's like avi um yeah avi lopez assisted them 17 seconds into the game bro like as soon as the game start a lot of his score you're like oh my god it's over for barcelona man, man. Bar barcelona is stood in there they, they stood their grounds and and they fight man and uh Lewandowski back from his injury playing good again uh um linking up with conde to score the opening goal for barcelona to tie up 1-1 in the second half bro. so um all 45 minutes Barcelona was down, man. In the second half, they were able to score. And, um, yeah, back in the game, 1-1. One, one. Then in the um, 78 minute, it was Barcelona again. I forgot who got fouled inside the box. Clear penalty. And uh, Lewandowski stepped up to the penalty and scored to give Barcelona that two lead. At the end of the game, um, Alavis had some good chance of scoring um, equalizer, man. But, um, as I said, man, it, it, your finishing touch was very poor, and Barcelona was just like sh shaky, bro. They was shaky defensively, and it was making a lot of errors, man. It could have cost them the game if they was playing. A, they would have lost the game or, or probably draw the game if they were pay, playing like a better team, a more um, clinical team with, with better finishes, man. Ter Stegen in goal, poor overall. Um, Cancelo, uh, Cancelo did very well. Um, Arojo didn't have the best game, but he did all right. The two center back was very poor. Uh, Martinez and uh, Conde. Conde, the highlight of the game for him is him assisting um, Lewandowski on that first goal equalizer for Barcelona, which was very important in my opinion. Pedri and um, Gundogan. Gundogan had a good game. Pedri had an alright game. Lopez was just very poor man as an attacking midfielder. And Yamal, alright. Felix was doing good. And uh, Lewandowski up top, man. He picked up a yellow card, but he scored two goals. One, one goal was a header, the second was a penalty. And uh, yeah, man, other than that, bro, um, Lopez, Javi Lopez, and um, Samu Omaradonian was pretty much the best player out there for Deportivo Alaves. And uh, it was a game that Barcelona dominated with possession, with 72% ball possession. And uh, Alaves had 28, Barcelona had. Um, or at, at like 11 shots. Um, a lot of us had a good amount of shots too, eight shots. But that's the way Barcelona um, kind of won again. It was more clinical. So they had what? Six shots on target, while a lot of us only had one minute. And as I said, man, they need some better finisher and need to be more clinical. And they, they have a good opportunity because like they had some great um, chances to beat Barcelona, but they just couldn't score, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Important win for Barcelona. Good win for them. But, yo. Any other team that probably would have lost or draw this game. But with that, you boys out of here. Peace.